Okay, so uh, this is the solution for our problem number one. And again, these are very basic problems. And please remember that our um, formula for work in physics is R, which is the distance or the displacement, right? We use R because usually it's from center to center. Although sometimes they use D and sometimes they use S. Whatever was the displacement, the, the distance moved times the force that was doing the work times cosine theta. Now this cosine theta is only if the force is not coplanar to the uh, displacement. If there's an angle between, then you have to get the angle. Otherwise, that becomes zero. Okay? So... If that angle is zero, like in this first one, our formula is just work is equal to force times distance. Force is in newtons, distance is in uh, meter. So it's newton meter, that's the unit or joule. Joule is a newton meter. The derived unit is kilogram meter per second squared, that's newton, times meter. That times that will give you kilogram meter squared per second squared and this is the derived units for energy okay so here we are given a box of books that weighs 185 newtons and it's going to be raised 0.8 meter right so that's what's given and again all you have to do is put the basic formula since they're both going up the cosine the angle is zero okay so uh, 185 newtons times 0.8 meter will give you um, 148 joules. Check.